some uh, distant trees back here. So what I'm going to do is just stamp in some color back here. And we're going to make these distant trees, okay? Just stamp in the color, get smaller over here. Get bigger over here. These are going to be uh, maybe round, round top trees, okay? Wipe your brush off now and very carefully grab a little bit of that color underneath and just pull it to the right. Just underneath your trees, pull that color. Pull it out. Just like that. That looks pretty good. Let's make this one a little taller here. Look at those trees. Wow. Over here, what we're going to do, we're going to use the filbert brush to make these trees over here. Uh, let me put a little bit of bushes here first. And we're going to use a filter brush and try and make some evergreen trees here. Just start off really small up here. And then stamp your color down in the shape of a, an evergreen tree. Okay. Get some more paint on your brush. Fill it up pretty good. Start small. And then get bigger down here at the bottom. <coughs> trying to do this painting very uh, a very loose uh, painting okay this is something anybody can do okay just shape them like a tree we're just putting color up there and uh, it's almost like impressionism okay now with your brush wipe it off and at the bottom, let's pull this to the right as well. Just some of the paint at the bottom. Just pull it to the right. It creates some stuff going on down here. I'm not going for detail. Let's grab a little more color and put some bushes right here. Going back. Towards those trees and then pull a little color out grab a little bit of the light green now on your brush and pull some of that light green underneath the bushes and let's grab a little white over here on the back end of it there's our grass right there I want to try and keep it dark too Lightly blend that in. Needs a little more white so the, the bottom of the trees show up. So just add a little white to it here. Just a little. Very good. Let's uh, stamp in a small bush down here. Just like that. I'm liking it. Let's grab some titanium white on your brush now and let's line the bottom of these trees with some white. Just like that. Grab a, your uh, wet your brush and grab some of that original Indian red color with the uh, Indian yellow and uh, Indian yellow and Alzerian red. Let's brighten up this land again down here. Just like that. Let's line our water now with uh, I'm going to use uh, this smaller filbert brush and put some uh, water just wet your brush a little and grab some white, titanium white. And at the shore, pull out some white. Keep your brush uh, horizontal, 
like this. Just pull it out. Back here, pull it less and less. Pull it out more here in the front. And I'm just painting loosely, okay? Let's put some white down here. Keep it uh, horizontal. Add some water coming down the river. Really easy way, but it's going to look good. It's going to be like a more on the impressionistic side. And let's brighten up some of this snow here now. Very good. It's looking really good. I kind of like it. Uh, I know it's simple, but you could keep working on it and add more things to it. Now what I'm going to do is highlight some of these uh, trees here, okay? I'm just going to use titanium white on a small filbert brush. Now let's imagine the light's coming in here. See where it's hitting the mountain here? Now let's start down low. Let's, let's say there's a small tree down here. And we got one here and one here. I'm just trying to hit where I think the, uh, the lights hit the top of these trees here, okay? I'm imagining that there's more in front here as well. Uh, make sure you wet your brush when you do this. Get some white on it, titanium white. And let's just... Let's start with this one down here. Maybe there's a tree right there in the front. Got a big one up here. I'm trying to pick out the top parts of uh, trees, okay? And then these will just kind of highlight the tops back there. Very small. Doesn't that look cool? Quick way, quick way to do a painting here. Let's highlight these bushes so we're going to have a we'll have a whole bunch of uh, different bushes in here by just highlighting the top parts of them, just like that. A good practice to uh, learn how to highlight. I will put some bushes down here in front of those evergreen trees, okay? Just using white so you can see it. You can use white first and then add color to it if you want. Like if you want those uh, bushes a different color, add it to the top of the white. I'm just showing you how to highlight these uh, Put very little white on your brush for these trees here, okay? Very little. And I'm just going to try and hit the right side of them where I think uh, the sun's hitting them. <clears throat> and I'm trying not to be too detailed. I want the painting to look just loose, just like that. I don't know how this yellow got in here. Let me put a little blue there. I don't know how that got yellow. Get rid of that yellow spot. All right, there we go. So it's looking good. Let's put some action out here in this grass. So Get some dark sap green color and let's put some bushes right on the water's edge here. Don't try and make them look like bushes, just stamp in some dark color there, okay? Just like that. And then take your brush underneath and pull it back to the left here. 
Okay. Let's line the whole uh, edge of the river now going back with this dark color. Get really small back here. Just like that. It's good enough. Just to edge that river. You can highlight those bushes too if you want with the titanium white just kind of hit the top parts of them really pick out your bush tops here and just throw a little white on it just like that let's lighten up uh, that grass back here I'm going to use this small filbert brush and grab wet my brush and grab some yellow straight yellow and right underneath these trees, I'm going to pull out some yellow to lighten up the back here. And just pull it out. Lighten up this whole area back here. Doesn't that look cool? That looks really cool. Let's put a... Let's put a little yellow down here as well, because maybe the light's hitting down in here, okay? Right at the bottom of these bushes, just yellow. Just like that. Let's highlight this uh, bush down here with yellow. Now it's hard to see, but we'll turn it, we'll highlight it so it stands out now. I have a yellow bush down there. All right, guys, that's all I'm going to do. This was a quick one. I'm going to uh, get my uh, eyeliner brush. And don't forget, you can put, uh, you know, twigs out here, okay? I left my eyeliner brush in the water, and it got crooked on me. Put some twigs out here. Uh, get your uh, black to run like ink, and then you can make some cool twigs, okay? Run some on the side of your trees, some in, in between your trees. Wherever you want, just take the time. You can put a few out here on these bushes. I'm gonna try and put a bird up there with this crooked brush. Put a few birds there. There you go, guys. Quick, easy one with the acrylic. I hope you enjoyed that one. That, the lighting out here is not too good, so I hope that came out okay. And we'll see you later, and cheers. Good luck.